I've been coming to CES for years now. In fact, CES 2026 is my sixth show and it gets crazier and crazier every year. However, this show is a bit different. No matter where I went, no matter what product I was looking at, 90% of the things I saw all had one thing in common. I know so many people around the world wish they could come to something like CES to see all these cool tech products. So I'm going to take you on a little tour around the show floor and tell you about how one name keeps popping up over and over again. Let's start with Samsung, which is always one of the biggest booths at CES. Here I saw not only Samsung's existing products like smartphones, laptops, smartwatches, TVs, and even washing machines, but I also got to see stuff that isn't even out yet in the United States, like the Galaxy Z Trifold and the Galaxy Book 6. Pretty much every mobile product I saw at this massive booth had something in common, which is Corning Gorilla Glass. The Galaxy S25 Ultra has Corning Gorilla Armor 2 on it, which is incredibly durable and has an anti-glare coating that makes it much easier to use when under bright lights or outside on a sunny day. The Galaxy S25 Edge uses a different glass called Corning Gorilla Glass Ceramic 2, which helps keep this impossibly thin phone extra tough if you are unlucky enough to drop it. Full disclosure, but Corning sponsored this video and I wanted to show you how strong these phones are by throwing a phone across the CES floor, but apparently that's frowned upon at a consumer electronics show. Who knew? Anyway, it's not just phones either. These Samsung laptops all have Corning Gorilla Glass. These smartwatches have it, and so do these tablets. Basically, if you have a mobile device from Samsung, the chances are very, very high that the glass comes from the same company. Samsung isn't alone here. Let's jump over to Lenovo, who always has some of the most exciting products at the show. Pretty much all of Lenovo's mobile products have some form of Corning Gorilla Glass, including the really, really wild stuff. Look at this absolutely insane laptop concept. It looks like a normal laptop at first, but when you turn it around, you see that it has a display on the back too. If that weren't cool enough, with the hit of a button, the laptop display actually rolls out, giving you a huge portrait mode monitor on the go. Lenovo is calling this the ThinkPad Rollable XD concept, and it uses Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2 to keep its sensitive components protected. Now, this laptop is just a concept, so you're not going to be able to buy it right now. However, Lenovo has a long history of bringing concept devices like this to CES and then launching a commercial version a year or so later. So if you love this idea, stay tuned because I am fully expecting Lenovo to bring this to the consumer market at some point in the future. Lenovo also owns Motorola and you guessed it, pretty much all of Motorola's products have Corning Gorilla Glass, including the new Motorola Razr Fold, which we caught a brief glimpse of here at the show. Motorola has been making some absolutely amazing clamshell style foldables recently, including the Motorola Razr Ultra, which was one of the best reviewed phones of 2025. I'm very excited to put the company's first book style foldable through its paces later this year. All these upcoming products are really cool, but there's one that excited me even more than the others, which is the brand new Swift Edge 14 AI laptop from Acer. This laptop is unique for many reasons and not just its absolutely gorgeous looks. It comes with up to an Intel Core Ultra 9 processor, weighs less than a kilogram, and has a stunning 3K OLED touch display with a 120 hertz refresh rate. But the thing that has me most excited about this laptop is that it is the first device with the new Corning Gorilla Mat Pro. This is similar to the Corning Gorilla Armor 2 that we see on the Galaxy S25 Ultra in that it is super strong and includes a design that makes it very good at eliminating glare. With all that performance, that beautiful display, and the ability to work in nearly all lighting conditions, this is now one of my top choices for my next laptop. Speaking of my next laptop, I currently use an Asus laptop as my daily driver, and I do love it. I needed to stop by their booth to see what new things they have, and was pretty enamored with the new Asus ROG Xbox Ally gaming handheld. Reviews all concur that this model fixes a lot of the problems with the original Ally, most notably battery life, which is a lot better thanks to a much larger cell and a more efficient processor. But as I was gaming with the thing, what do you know? It also has Corning Glass. It uses Corning Gorilla Glass with DXC, which offers a great balance between being difficult to scratch and reducing reflections to create a better gaming experience. At this point, it's clear that if I see a high-end mobile product on the CES show floor, it's practically guaranteed to be using Corning Glass. But what about products that you don't hold in your hands? How about, say, a car? 
Does that also have Corning glass? Well, you're not going to believe this, but yes. Many of the biggest brands rely on Corning to provide high quality technical glass for the display screens in car cockpits. Corning's glass is perfect for this use case as it allows you to easily see the displays even under harsh sunlight. But don't take my word for it. Corning's anti-reflective surface treatment for automotive displays, known as Surface IQ, was recognized in the in-vehicle entertainment category for the CES Innovation Awards. This is one of the highest honors companies can receive at CES each year. Oh, and remember the Acer laptop with the Gorilla Mat Pro Glass? That got an innovation award too. Phones, laptops, smartwatches, cars. Corning Glass is in everything, it seems. But there's actually one place you probably wouldn't expect Corning Glass to be at all. To learn more about that, we need to go to the source and check out Corning's booth here at CES 2026. This is the first year ever that Corning has had a publicly accessible booth at the show, and the company went all out. You can see all the different products it makes and how the company is the backbone of the tech industry in more ways than one. Check this out. This is Corning's Glassworks AI solutions at work, creating the infrastructure that keeps AI data centers connected to the internet using ultra-fast, ultra-stable fiber connectivity. Not only that, but Corning's glass fiber network solutions also enable data centers to stay ahead of the surging bandwidth demands of AI by creating incredibly high density cabling, allowing AI data centers to fit more fiber into smaller areas. Corning doesn't stop there either. Did you know that Corning supplies materials and components that are central to nearly every step of the semiconductor chip manufacturing process? It's true. Corning's Advanced Optics Group enables the production of chips that power all your favorite tech products, from cars, smartphones, and laptops, to gaming PCs, and the ones powering those massive AI data centers. When I said at the beginning of this video that Corning is everywhere, I really meant it. Okay, I have one more crazy thing to tell you about, which is that this year, 2026, is actually Corning's 175th birthday. CES takes place in Nevada, and Corning has been around longer than Nevada has been a part of the United States. Corning glass was wrapped around the first Edison light bulb, and the first TV tubes were made by Corning. Now, in 2026, we've got all these amazing technologies from huge companies like Samsung, Lenovo, Acer, Asus, and hundreds more that all rely on Corning. It's wild. I hope this has given you a glimpse at what it's like to attend CES and how massive a show it really is. I also hope you're excited about some of these cool new tech products coming later this year. If you want to go back in time a bit and check out my thoughts on the best 2025 phones, check out this video here, which also includes a special message for me and this guy, Lon. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all down in the comments.